Hello again, and welcome back to Simple Science. Today's project is Build Your Own Homopolar Motor. A homopolar motor creates rotational movement because of what is known as the Lorentz force. What's happening is that electrical current is flowing from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative and into the magnet. This current then flows from the center of the magnet to the edge where the wire connects. It travels up the wire back to the positive terminal of the battery, and the circuit is complete. As the current travels perpendicular to the magnetic field, a Lorentz force is exerted on the conductor, the wire, which again is perpendicular to both the direction of the magnetic field and the current generating the spinning motion. Wow, that was a lot of science talk. We'd better let you get started building your homopolar motor. Here are the supplies you'll need. First, approximately 8 inches of stiff copper wire, a AA battery, a cork, small pliers with a built-in wire cutter. If you don't have this, a separate pair of pliers and wire cutter will do just fine. Four rare earth magnets that are nearly the same diameter as the AA battery. Rare earth magnets are the strongest type of permanent magnet. These you may not have lying about the house. I found these at a local hardware store. Okay, that's about it. Let's get building. Begin by wrapping the wire tightly around the cork. Continue wrapping until there is about an inch of straight wire left over. Slide the coil you just made off of the cork and stretch it out until it's a little bit longer than the AA battery. Using your pliers, bend the one inch straight section so that it is vertical. About a quarter inch above the bend you just made, use the pliers to make another bend so that the remaining straight piece is horizontal over the center of the coil. About a quarter inch in from that bend, make another bend so that the end of the wire is pointed directly down the center of the coil. If necessary, Using the wire cutter and the pliers, snip off any excess so that the downward pointing segment is approximately a quarter of an inch long and in the position shown in the picture. Using the pliers, bend the bottom of the coil slightly inward. You may have to adjust this bend a little later on. Using the tip of the pliers, carefully push a small dent into the center of the positive end of the battery. This will provide a place for the top of your coil to rest and prevent it from slipping off. Place the AA battery positive end up on top of the four rare earth magnets. Center it as well as possible. Believe it or not, you're just about done. Carefully slide the coil down over the battery. You may have to stretch or compress the coil so that when the top is resting in the dent in the positive end of the battery, the bottom is rubbing somewhere in the center of the stack of magnets. At this point, you may need to make adjustments to the bend that you made at the bottom of the coil to ensure that it makes good contact with the magnets, but does not press too hard and prevent the entire coil from moving. Try experimenting with making other shapes with the wire. Generally speaking, if it can be balanced on the top of the battery while making good contact with the magnets below, it'll work. Well, that's it for Simple Science this week. I hope you enjoyed working on this project, and I hope you'll let us know how it turned out. 
please remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy Simple Science.